welcome back to the class children we have completed lesson 2 so once again i am going to tell you the topics and we are going to do the objective so lesson number 2 animals in their surroundings so if you look at page number 292 so basically we have five types of animals terrestrial aquatic amphibious arboreal aerial and uh, the body coverings are different from one animal to the other animal so few they have skin few they have fur on their body they have scales they have uh, like c shaped scales and few they have shells and few they have like hooks they have like spines to protect themselves from the enemies right and the eating habits of animals also we have seen that is herbivores carnivores and uh, omnivores and herbivores they eat plants carnivores they eat flesh of other animals and some birds they are going to eat the flesh with the help of the hooked beak and claws then breathing habits also we have learned so human beings and uh, like reptiles we are going to breathe with the lungs and some insects like grasshoppers they are going to breathe with the spiracles and trachea then few animals like whales and dolphins they are going to breathe with the blow hole so whenever they want to breathe they come above the sea level and they breathe and they go into the water again then movement so how do these animals move so terrestrial animals they have four limbs so with the help of two limbs few animals walk and with the help of other two limbs they are going to hold the things or something like that now we also have four limbs the upper two are called as the four limbs and the below two are called as the hind limbs so we walk with the hind limbs then what do we do with the four limbs we are going to hold the things few animals they use all the four four limbs and hind limbs to the walking purpose and for hunting and moving from one place to other place then snakes they have scales under their body so with the help of the scales they are going to move and ants termites house flies they have wings and they have six legs to move then butterflies their body is very soft they don't have they don't have strong muscle they don't have bones so with the help of the wings they are going to fly then fishes they move from one place to the other place with the help of their fins then duck penguin tortoise frog they are going to move with their webbed feet they are going to move with their webbed feet they push the water back and move their body front then migration so for few birds and animals certain climatic condition is not suitable for them so in such cases they are going to move from one place to the other place in large number so that such condition is called as migration so they go in search of food or else they grow uh, they go from one place to other place to reproduce to lay the eggs to give birth to young ones so there are different different conditions which move from one place to other place and that is called as migration then coming to the objective yes page number 302 page number 302 tick the correct answer so page number 2 302 first bit is tick the correct answer a frog 
dog is an amphibian because it can live so amphibians can live in water and on land so a frog is an amphibian because it can live only in water only on land on land and in water none of these so which is the correct option the correct option is c it can live on land as well as in water whales and dolphins are categorized as so whales and dolphins are categorized as mammals they are mammals they can breathe with their lungs so it is option b it is option b which of these birds cannot fly so which of the birds cannot fly it is owl ostrich duck pigeon owl can fly duck can fly for some extent not to that much height and pigeon also can fly but ostrich because of its heavy body it cannot fly so it is option b which of these animals has scales on its body scales are nothing but either they have lines like this or a fish has overlapped scales so either they have in this way or that so which one is going to have scales zebra penguin fish and deer so the correct one is c mouse is an example of a or an so mouse is a reptile amphibian rodent or arboreal animal mouse squirrels all these they come under rodents so it is option c so the first one is c on land and in water second one is b mammals third one is b ostrich and fourth one is c fish and fifth one is also c again rodent then fill in the blanks so already options are given for you you have to choose the correct one and right so here are the options lungs hind limbs armadillo trachea and rodents so the first one birds and reptiles breathe through their so birds and reptiles they have lungs to breathe so the first one is lungs first one is lungs then second one spiracles in insects lead into a network of tubes called so spiracles in insects they lead to a network from front side till back side it's completely a network of tubes and that is called as trachea T R A C H E A trachea. Then third one, a dash has hard armor-like plates on its body for protection. It is armadillo. It has plates like strong. How a tortoise has a hard shell on its body. Even this also has plates like structure and small spines will be there. And that animal is armadillo. then fourth one human beings use their dash to walk stand run and swim so do they use their four limbs or hind limbs they use their hind limbs so our four limbs are hands and our hind limbs are 
our legs. So with the help of the hind limbs, we are able to walk, run and stand. Then the fifth one, squirrels and rats are called. So squirrels and rats are called as rodents. So with the help of the two sharp teeth, they are going to gnaw the food. They are going to bite into small tiny pieces and chew it with their saliva and jaws. They just move the food here and there, make it into a round ball and then swallow. So the fifth one is rodents. And this is seabed. State true or false. Animals that live in water are called as amphibians. So animals that are live that live in water are called as amphibians. The given statement is false. Animals that live in water are called as aquatic animals. So the given statement is False. Oysters have scales on their bodies for protection. No, this is also false. Oysters, they have hard shell on their body. So here the given statement is false. Then, mosquitoes have a proboscis to suck the blood. So butterflies they have proboscis but mosquitoes have needle like structures. They do not have proboscis. So only butterflies have the proboscis. Mosquitoes do not have. So the given statement is false. Then, whales breathe through gills. So, this statement is also false. Then, how do whales breathe? So, these whales, they have a cone on their head. I will show you. Yes, here. They have a hole on their head and that hole is called as a blowhole. So, whales and dolphins, they breathe through the blowhole. Then, next you have the short answer questions and long answer questions which I will just type and send you. Then, page number 304, think and answer. So, this bit will be your homework and I am going to explain you. Yes. So this is your textbook. So in textbook only you are going to write the answers. So where you are going to write? Here the opposite page you have lot of empty space. So here you are going to write it. So if you look at the first one. A sparrow can fly while an ostrich cannot. What enables a sparrow to fly? So, sparrow is a bird and ostrich is also a bird. But they cannot fly. Why? Because ostrich is heavy. And sparrow, it has a very light body. So, that you just frame it in the form of a sentence and write. A bat and a bird can fly. Yet, they are different from each other. How? So, a bat can fly and another any bird, it can also fly. But what is the difference between a bird and a bat? So both are birds only but bat is a mammal. So this bat it doesn't lay eggs. It's going to give directly birth to the young ones. And if you see for the bird it is covered with fully feathers. But whereas a bat the skin is it has the skin. It doesn't have 
feathers at all that is the difference then which of these is a fish jellyfish silver fish starfish so you have to find out and write down just the name this is a fish and you just write down the name read the statements given below and name the body part of an insect used here so the first one is air enters and carbon dioxide is removed from the body through these so air enters into that and the carbon dioxide is removed out of the body it is lungs it is lungs or blood vessels also you can write because blood vessels are the one which carry oxygen to the parts and they are going to remove the carbon dioxide so you better write lungs only and b1 it is a waxy and water resistant outer covering that protects the body so this is related to ants and other small rodents sorry termites so these ants and termites they have a watery the waxy watery resistant like how a lotus leaf will be it has a waxy coating if you put some drops of water on it also the water will not stay on the leaf so here for ant also they have a waxy coating so if you put some water on it also it's not going to die so these animals they have a waxy coating and what is that waxy coating called as it's called as cuticle so all these answers you have to refer the textbook and write fine so these homework you have to do it here in the space provided in the opposite page so this is about the lesson hope you all have understood this lesson in the next lesson that is food and health this is very very important in this rainy season right so how to take care of food what food we have to eat and what are the diseases which we get if we do not take proper food so this all we are going to see in the next lesson so hope you all have understood till here read the lesson thoroughly go through the new words go through the question answers and prepare well for the exams also right so this is about the lesson please read the whole lesson thoroughly if you don't understand anywhere go through the videos again and again so hope you all have understood have a good day thank you